The NASA SOFIA aircraft is finishing its trips this weekend with just three flights left. The team welcomed both the US and German ambassadors to New Zealand to tour the aircraft today. The German ambassador was really impressed about the, the, the capabilities of the telescope, what it can do, how it can move uh, in the uh, aircraft, but also from the science instrument. We had the German uh, science instrument uh, on board at the moment, and uh, so she was really impressed what it can do. And our ambassador, uh, like I had mentioned, uh, he was so also very impressed and wants to take a seat on, on our, one of our flights next time we come out, so that would be really really interesting to have him on board. The team ran into a rough patch at the beginning of the campaign, encountering tough weather conditions and having trouble with an engine part, ruling out two of the 18 proposed flights. But all in all, Ed says they had a successful trip here to Christchurch. Since then, we've been uh, hitting all of our flights and had really uh, no, no major hiccups. One of the main focuses of the SOFIA campaign was the Pluto occultation. Well, it was uh, really interesting to to uh, to see how how we can uh, get into Pluto's shadow, and then from this uh, shadow that the scientists are able to to see the atmosphere of, of Pluto. An occultation in astronomy terms is where the planet comes in line of a distant star, and the light from that star is used to analyse the planet and its outer layers. In order to properly see this occurrence, it was important for the aircraft to fly directly into Pluto's shadow. Five hours uh, before we actually hit the, the, the shadow, we had another uh, uh, course change and, and we had to go 227 kilometres north of where we were on time, you know, and, and, and that for us was the, the, the real challenge and, and, and we made it uh, perfectly. There have been worries among the science community that Pluto may not have an atmosphere anymore, but the team were able to prove this theory wrong. We were able to see that there is still indeed uh, an atmosphere which uh, tells the, the, the uh, scientists uh, a lot about the, 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 the planet itself. Discovered in 1930, Pluto has perplexed scientists for more than 85 years. Recently, the New Horizons probe reached Pluto after being launched nearly a decade ago and the guys say it's a pretty exciting time. To watch these people who launched this nine, nine years ago <laughs> and it's just reaching its destination to, and to hit it perfectly uh, is just, just unbelievable. So, uh, and the images that they're sending back are, are just incredible. You know, seeing the ice and the, and the, the, uh, the moons and uh, some of the formations on there I think is going to make these people uh, have uh, data to study for years to come. The research from the Pluto occultation made by SOFIA will enter a new pool of information we now know about Pluto. The NASA New Horizons mission, the timing of that uh, was just perfect with this occultation. So uh, obviously the, the nine years it took to get there and as close as they are to this planet, and some of the images that uh, we're seeing coming back is going to tell us a lot. The team already have sufficient funding for next year, so we'll be sure to see Sophia back in Christchurch next winter. Chelsea Daniels, CTV News.